Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. And uh, yeah, normally I have eyebrows. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about it, shall we? Today we're playing around with this guy. And this is from Benefit. This is their new brow styler. And I am really, really excited to play around with this today because it is actually half pencil, half powder. I'm going to be honest with you. When I first saw this on their website, I had two thoughts. First one, gimmicky. Second one, stupid like and it wasn't stupid in like a wow that's dumb it was stupid in like a what the hell why like why are we doing this like why why isn't a pencil enough you know what i mean like i had that kind of a feeling and it reminded me a lot of when urban decay did their brow blade and this is just absolutely fantastic but when they came out with this i was like okay i can get behind this like i can see where they're going and anytime a product is released in the brow world that i'm just like what in the hell i feel like i really owe it to that product to pick it up and try it out um i actually did a full review of the Fenty one, which I will link up here. And you guys had such an amazing response to that video. You were so curious about it. Um, and just knowing like, is it worth it? Let's talk amount of product. Let's talk price. Let's talk the applicator. I thought we would sit down and do the same thing with this little guy because when it comes to brows, I feel like everyone is looking for something so different. Some people want a color gel, no gel. Some people want really dark and intense. Some people want light and fluffy. And some people like myself change what they want in their brow based on their makeup look. And for me, that was where this one really kind of struck my fan because even on the side of the box here, it does show that there are three different ways you can style your brows with this one product. It says that you can do a soft and full powder brow with just the powder in the bottom here. You can do a clean and shaped brow using just the wax side, or you can go bold and defined, put the two sides together and create like a really, really intense brow. And for me, lately I've been much more on like that soft, fluffy kind of side, and I thought it would be nice to test out the powder, maybe define with the waxy pencil, and just kind of play Play around with the formula and see if what they're talking about stylistically if this is something that would benefit multiple people for how they like to wear their makeup given a different makeup look. So obviously I went ahead I moved you guys in we're gonna start talking about this little ditty right here. I suspect as a $34 product which <gasps> $34 girl when I first saw that I was like mm, child you must be putting them damn brows on for me honey $34 Whoa. This is also available in eight shades, and it says that this is a two-in-one wax pencil and powder duo. It says that the waterproof 18-hour wear wax pencil effortlessly sculpts and shapes the brows, and the loose filling powder's precise angle felt tip allows for mess-free application while building easily for a soft and natural look. Now, real quick, before we dive into the application, I do want to talk about the amount of product you receive in this because I was really shocked. I was confused. I was looking for 15 minutes for references because it says, on here that you get 0.3 grams of product just on the pencil side and just to kind of give you some comparisons here like I did in my Fenty video um the Urban Decay Brow Blade which is also a split option so I grabbed this one on the pencil side for this you get 0.05 grams now keep in mind this says 0.3 not 0.03 0.3 grams. So in this one, 0.05, which is like a sixth of that. Um, my ColourPop pencil here, this one is 0.09 grams. Again, 0.9, which isn't even 0.1. So that is less than a third of the amount of product that's in this Benefit pencil. And following ColourPop, we also have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This one also has 0.09. And then the last one I have here is the ELF Brow Pencil, and this is the closest with 0.18 grams. And 0.18, given the other one is 0.3, this is just over half the amount of product. So all of that being said, I just wanted to point out that on the pencil side, you are getting a nice amount of product. And that's pretty rare when it comes to a dual ended little thing right here. So let's also go ahead real quick and look at the powder side. This is just the little felt tip applicator here. And I'm just going to lightly dust some onto my hand. I grabbed this in shade four, by the way, which is warm, deep brown. So I thought it would work really well. When I bought this, I knew I was getting my hair done. So I made sure to get a little bit of a deeper color. I think with my old hair, I probably would have gone with 3.5 for reference. But I really, really like the consistency of this. And I like the fact that when you go in here and you pull it out, powder doesn't fluff everywhere. Like it does a really nice job at sticking to the applicator. And when you apply it, it, it does build up a little bit as well and the color is very very even let's go ahead and dive into the actual product I'm just kind of going through and I'm lightly defining the arch first well that's actually kind of nice actually you know what I should do is I should do one brow with the pencil and then one brow with the powder just to kind of see how that side comes together because I'm really curious to see when they say light and fluffy like how is it gonna work on someone like me who doesn't have a lot of brow now, as far as application, this is applying 
very, very nice. It's not overly creamy, which is good. You don't want it to be overly creamy because then you'll actually break off and lose a ton of product. My biggest issue is that I do have to pull a spoolie from somewhere else. This is just my e.l.f. spoolie on the other end of the e.l.f. one. Um, but you will have to pull a spoolie if you're like me and you like to really work your product through and kind of shape your brow with it. You'll have to grab it from somewhere else. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and flick it in the upwards direction up here just to lightly fade in some brows. So right there is my preliminary brow with just the pencil. Now I'm gonna go ahead here, grab the powder, and I'm going to lightly kind of shape this side in. Oh wow, that kind of tickles. Oh, <laughs> that feels funny. Oh my God, sorry. Whew. I'm starting off in a similar way that I did with the pencil and I'm just shaping out the brow first just to give me a little bit of definition here why can somebody please explain to me why is there a little ball bearing in there what is this i thought it would be in the powder to like break the powder apart it's not it's in here why it's driving me nuts now i'm just kind of lightly taking and feathering this through my brows and you can definitely see right off the bat the ability for precision with this one is a lot less so i do agree this would be the nice lighter kind of fluffy approach i do like the fact though that even with having less control i can still get a nice brow like that's still if i was done right now that's not a bad brow it has a nice amount of arch and the tip on this because it's angled it does let you get in there and create contours to your brow without being overly specific and like overly um, defined with it which is really nice also really like using the powder at the front of the brow because it's so soft that you can naturally fade your brow in with the powder and it looks really really nice um, another thing about the powder that I'm enjoying is that it's very very buildable so for example I just went in and I applied it and I'm like oh that's a little bit dark I can easily go in and lighten it up and I know on camera it's a little difficult to see the texture difference between the two um, but even just looking at them side by side you can see that this one has just so much more rigidity to it and it's much more like structured versus the powder side which has a nice kind of soft roundness to it it has a nice soft tail it's not overly defined i'm just going to take the powder on this side and just try to see Ooh, okay i see what they're talking about so if you combine the two it's almost like the powder emphasizes the hair aspect Oh, that's really nice. Okay. I like that a lot more than I thought I would. Like, I love that structure with that light kind of powder feel. I think what it does is it gives that texture that you have on this side of the light kind of fluffiness, but then you get the depth and the sculptedness of the pencil. Ooh, I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and do this side. Absolutely not. Do you see my nose? Do you see all of the little powder speckles from this stupid wand on my nose? Oh. <sighs> mess free my patootie you little jerk i was literally just about ready to say i'm really happy with how these complement each other and i was going to compliment you and then you did that to my nose oh i am so not happy right now okay so it only left a little bit of like that brown streaky powder kind of residue um but nothing too bad so i'm not mad at it it did wipe off you can tell me down below am i super weird i have to go in like i did my round one of brows then i go in and i like to clean up the underside and then once i've cleaned up the underside i go in and i fix the arch like, I don't know what it is. I cannot get my arch correct until I've concealed the underside of my brow. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of my ABH Dip Brow Gel here. You know what, actually, I kind of feel like the powder and the pencil, it's almost like when you add this brow gel to it, and obviously you can use whatever brow gel you prefer, but it's almost like when you add the three together, it creates like a literal 3D effect for your brows. And I can't think of any other way to describe it, but my brows, they look very natural and very fluffy. Oh, I know, kind of like the um, mascara, what are those, fiber mascaras where there's like the actual little um, powders or hairs or whatever in the mascara and then when you apply it it makes them look full that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this because I feel like the powder goes in and it kind of clumps to your brow hair and then when you go in with the brow gel it gives you like even more fluff and more volume because that's on there and it just it looks really nice but all right you guys oh hello beautiful people Paige here just talking about brows in her office for no reason um i wanted to interject really quickly into this video that i actually kind of just did a little wear test on just the powder aspect of this and i'm super impressed and that was something that was missing from this video that i know a lot of people will be curious about so i did today i used just the brow powder aspect of this i didn't want to use the pencil i wanted to see what just the powder could do and not only did it go on beautiful it gave me a really nice arch good definition no issues i did concealer anything i just have the brows mascara 
mascara and a little balm on and I have been wearing this all day like we're talking I think at this point it's been like 10 hours on my eyes and none of it rubbed off it's still completely perfect and I'm so impressed and I just wanted to throw that out there if you're like me maybe you're normal to oily maybe a little combo and you're like hey I don't think a powder is gonna last on my eyebrows like I think it'll just slough right off it doesn't. It stays put so nicely. And I was really happy too with while I was using it, the way that it manipulated with the dip brow gel on its own, I was still able to get that nice, light, fluffy kind of brow look and add a little bit of structure, but not too much. And I think for a day like today where I just wanted to have my hair up, a little brow, a little, you know, just a little bit of everything, but not be over the top, no complexion. I just wanted my skin to breathe, honey, because it needed to breathe. I wanted to add, I didn't want to keep you guys here sitting with me being a creep in my office forever. So I'm going to go. You guys go enjoy the rest of the video and get on with the show. Those are my thoughts on this here little mini review. I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think of this product? Is it something you were curious about? Did you see it launch? I feel like this basically launched without anybody talking about it, which is so weird because Benefit, whenever they launch anything, especially brow related, I feel like people are just all up on that shit like piranhas and like nobody's talking about this. And of course, if you want to stick around and take a look at the rest of the things that are happening on this space right now, girl, we are filming so many videos today. There's going to be a foundation review. Obviously, we just did brow. Um, you will have missed the Tarte Holiday Collection, and if you did, I will link that right up here. And that'll explain a little bit more to you as to what is happening and why it's all happening in one day. Uh, but if you want to see all of these things and more, be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to this here YouTube channel. I do upload five videos a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. But you guys, I promise that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's nothing, Paige. It's, not, it's a piece of cake. It's a piece of crumb cake. Wow, cake sounds real good. I'm so hungry. Is it dinner time? Wow. So many things just happened in my head. Wow. Hello, beautiful people. Mm. <laughs> you are getting a nice amount of product, which I'm really, really happy about. N Bouch. So there it is. Oh, okay. So there's a rough... Okay. So there's my preliminary... Oh, my God. <laughs>